question number 11 live disparity a new polishing machine is required the polishing machine forms a part of the production process and most products manufactured required polishing at various stages in their production a polishing facility is expected to be required for as long as the factory remains in operation and no closure can be anticipated details of the two machines under consideration are machine a and b initial cost 50000 and 90000 life in years 4 and 7 4 years salvage period 4th year salvage period 5000 7th year salvage period 7000 annual running cost 10000 and 8000 both machines fulfill the same function and have equal capacities appropriate discount rate is 10 percent taxation may be ignored determine which machine should be purchased specify any assumptions made to what amount would the initial cost of machine a be required to alter in order that the two machines were then of equal financial attractiveness you know what is the technique that we have got to use what is the tool that we have got to use so it is between the three you have got to choose one not NPV certainly because NPV in order to be used as a tool project should have equal life which is not the case one four years the other one seven years in fact uh, the exact specification of the usage of the terms as I told you the polishing machine forms a part of the production process it is not giving any inflow the running costs for four years and five years they are given as one ten thousand the other one eight thousand one costing fifty thousand another one costing ninety thousand a very small salvage value to the total cost you would be finding between a and b and one having four years of life the other one having seven years of life you are expected to use equated annual cost mutually exclusive one there is no meaning in having two machines in one production process and uh, they have asked which machine should be purchased so it is not that both the machines are to be purchased which one of the two should be purchased then one more question they have asked to what amount would the initial cost of machine be required to alter in order that the two machines were then of equal financial attractiveness that also we will take it up a little later now we will find out through EAC as which one of the two we are accepting. What is the maximum period totally? 7. Four. What are the events that you have? Outflow or outlay, running cost, salvage value, then PV factor should be common for both machine A and B. Is that right? Then for machine A, cash flow, discounted cash flow. What is the cash flow? 50,000. Next one, 10,000. Salvage value, minus 5,000. What is the discounted one? Annuity factor, how many years annuity factor we have to take up? 4 years. Is that right? Similarly, machine B, cash flow, discounted cash flow. What are the cash flows? 90,000 then
here it is minus 7000 salvage value so what is this this plus three correct e a c what is the formula discounted cash outflow divided by annuity factor discounted cash outflow divided by annuity factor i don't want any decimal so we are just doing like that which one should be given the rank 1 2 strategy accept the other one being reject Okay, this we have done because we had the luxury of Excel. So all computations were all done by the machine. Under examination condition, don't do like this. What is that then we should do? Presentation has got different present there is different format than understanding. Yes, you take up 0, 1 dash 4, 4, 1 dash 7. 7. What are those events? Outlay, running cost, salvage value, running cost, salvage value. So, PV factor bar annuity factor 1, 3.1698, 4.8684, Fourth year annuity factor, uh, there is PV factor, this one, 0.5132. Now you take up machine A, machine B, cash flow, discounted cash flow, cash flow, discounted cash flow. Whatever we have done above, you do, do it in smaller number itself. Can you do it? Next one, 10,000. Is that right? Strategy, accept, the other one reject. There is another question that you asked. To what amount would the initial cost be? Initial cost of machine A, B required to alter in order that the two machines were then of equal financial attractiveness. One is more attractive, one is less attractive. If both the machines are equal equally attractive then you should keep either A as base and make alteration in B or keep machine B as base and bring out alteration in machine A correct in this problem they have mentioned equal financial attractiveness with alteration recommended in machine A Machine B is a base now. Now what is that we should do? We should accept the equal financial, that is we should accept the equivalent annual cost of B as the equivalent annual cost of A. Only then you will have both given with same amount of rank. 
closely follow. What should be the discounted cash flow? The discounted cash flow should be the product of two. What it should be? 81,619 should be the sum of the discounted cash flow. Closely follow. If you sum up, you have already got some other number. So, if you sum up, you will not get 81,619. In order to get 81,619, changes can be made initially, that is in year 0, or in any one of those 4 years or all the 4 years, or in the 4th year in the salvage value. Alteration can be made in any one of these 3, initial cost, running cost and salvage value. In any one you can make, but they have mentioned in this problem that they have got to make in the initial cost. How to find out this? 81,619 minus sum of this, what it should be? 53,336. If this number is 53,336 with PV factor as 1, what should be this number? This number should be 53,336. It should be that we will take up the base of machine B, EAC of machine B as 25749. EAC of machine A, how much it is? 24,697. Then increase in the EAC of A required. Increase in the EAC of A required. 1052.20. If I want an equated annual cost of A, to the extent of 1052.2 to be increased with an annuity factor which is known to you that being 3.1698 to what extent my initial cost should be increased if my see what is the formula for uh, equated annual cost equated annual cost is equal to Discounted cash outflow divided by annuity factor. Increase in EAC is equal to discounted cash outflow not known. Annuity factor is known to you. What is the thing you should do? Increase in EAC into annuity factor is equal to question mark. You have got all the information. What is that we should do? Multiply these two. So, what is this? 3335. This is the way presentation should be.